Welcome back guys. First, I would like to thank you guys for watching and leaving comments and questions. I love reading your comments every day and I love answering all your questions and also learn a lot from reading your comments. So, so out of the many, many comments I read, there were some similarities and some comments and questions that stands out. So I kind of narrowed down all the similar questions and comments together into four parts. So people are saying that they're, um, you, they have been using the pad all their life. They're not very comfortable with the arcade stick. Um, they're saying they're having trouble with executions and inputs. Um, they're saying, um, can you sh uh, give us some tips and tricks on how to use an arcade stick? And the last one is, uh, can you show us uh, your hands on camera? Uh, it will be helpful to see how your hand moves and uh, inputs and things like that. Of course I can. This is what this channel is about. It is to contribute to the gaming community and so we can all learn together and all uh, improve together. If you are having some trouble getting started with the arcade stick, hopefully this video can give you a reference uh, and some tips and tricks. Uh, this video is going to be four parts. Uh, the first part is going to be how to hold the arcade stick. Uh, two is going to be uh, how to do a half circle like a fireball. The third part is going to be how to do an uppercut. And number four is going to be uh, how to cancel into super. Uh, and in the end of the video, I'm going to have some sample combos uh, with the camera on my hand so you can see the movements. So if you want to follow along, grab your arcade stick um, and follow along. Um, let's begin. Uh, I'm going to switch the camera angle so you can get a better view. Alright, uh, first let's talk about how to hold the stick. I'm going to do my best to show you guys how I hold it and how I move around. So uh, many times when I see new players, they focus a little bit too much on gripping the ball top. What I mean by that is either they're, they're gripping it like this, moving it around with the three fingers and then the four fingers and then the or five fingers or actually just kind of like holding it like this. I don't really recommend that because it's not very natural. So the way that I like to do it is basically what I do is just take your hand, just kind of like rest next to the to the joystick and kind of just lean on it. There shouldn't be like any gripping, like it's just resting on here. Uh, there's no pressure. Um, the ball top just sits in the empty space, in this empty space your hand uh, creates. Uh, so you're not holding it. So I don't want you to do like do this like or move it around or, or jump and then like that, because uh, when I see a, a lot of new players, they the whole time they're just kind of gripping this and they never let go. So I don't recommend that. So take your hand, just kind of sit, uh, sit on on here and just rest. Um, or another, sometimes I do find myself, um, I find myself uh, having my pinky like under like going across like here. So it's sitting under the ball top, but it's not like gripping it. So like this, resting or sometimes I do this and just kind of like still resting. This just sits here. Um, there's no pressure around the fingers. Okay. Um, so to move left, what I do is um, I use uh, my thumb, this part of my thumb and just kind of do this. So this, so to do a dash, you know, just like this, to move forward, I use my the third part like one two three the third part of my index finger and my middle finger so this this two this this area right here um, could kind of like push like left just with your thumb forward like that like that so I'm there's I'm not like holding it like 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 that because it's not very natural so just kind of like there's um, like this. You're just kind of pushing it, pushing it, okay, like that. And what, to do a jump, um, I do it like this. So I'm using the third part of my middle finger and the third part of my index finger and the top part of my thumb, all three, and kind of just like oh, pushing it, like kind of like this. This push and it kind of just, this holds it in place like this, like that. And when I, uh, for, for crouching, down is, I notice I'm using sometimes one finger or two fingers. So sometimes I either do this, or one, one finger, or a lot of times I, I use two fingers. So I switch around with 
either one sometimes depending on the combo and um, how natural it is because when you're when you're doing a lot of combos your body you there's no like um, there's no like 100% uh, way of like doing the same motion your body just kind of like naturally does uh, different gestures sometimes so so I see myself switching around uh, one two, one or two fingers and things like that um, also for diagonals for jumping back I do it like this so the this part of the, the ball top kind of sits around here and then I use this to push so so kind of like that kind of like that so you're not gripping it but you're kind of like holding it for like for like one second so to, for forward jump back jump back jump back jump back jump actually this is actually sitting on three fingers um, so it's kind of like this this push and this kind of sits on like the middle three parts so forward and like this this is like a back jump and then the forward jump is like let's see so I'm noticing myself using two fingers the middle part of index and middle and this part kind of just like pushing it like that to jump back and jump forward okay and this is down back down back I am um, using let's see like that. basically the parts around here the index and middle around here and then my thumb and kind of just like gripping it like hold, pulling it back like, like that let's see And then for for a down down forward crouching forward, um, I think I just use all three fingers and kind of like do that, like kind of like just push down on here. So if I'm doing a let's see something like that, yeah, this is what I would use. Well, I, uh, this is what I do. Uh, uh, this doesn't do anything, but this just naturally sits on on this side because when you pull this I, I think naturally your thumb just kind of stays on it because sometimes you need this to you need your thumb to push back for like a something else you know like that so let's go over that again back forward jump jump down with two fingers two fingers um, jump back jump back jump forward jump forward uh, Crouching back, crouching forward, like that. Moving on to part two, how to do a quarter circle. For Kuma, in this case, let's say it's a fireball. So it'll be how to do a fireball. So the input for a fireball is basically down, diagonal, forward. Down, diagonal, forward. Down, diagonal, forward. So if you do it very slow, basically do this, down, you hear the you hear the the click 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 three clicks one two three one two three do it, so if you're having trouble just do it slowly at first like this down forward for uh, down diagonal forward 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 so here uh, basically three clicks down diagonal forward so do it slow if you can't do it fast yeah so basically just do it like that so and uh, and just to get the motion uh, don't worry about the gesture right now you can actually just hold it hold it with this like that so once you get it down once you once you get a feel of where the clicks are so now you want to go back to the previous I guess position resting your hand here what I do is basically kind of using this part here and kind of first kind of like holding it down and then let's see I'm kind of like pushing it down down and then kind of like my finger gripping it making this motion and then this part let's see and then this part would so using this part kind of like down and then as I'm coming through my hand my thumb kind of like finishes the motion one and then one pushing down 
this kind of curls this way, and then this one furnishes the motion. So my yeah, let's see. Yeah. So basically I noticed my index finger and my middle finger kind of pushing it this way and then kind of like curling in and then just finishing that motion. So kind of like that. So you should, but, uh, but I don't recommend holding it like like gripping it like like holding it the whole time like it's not as natural. So you always want to let go like that. So one, two, three. Um, three clicks for the input, but but in reality you hear four clicks because the last click is letting go. So one, two, three, four. So uh, in reality it's four clicks. Uh, so so if you the full motion actually is four clicks, but the input if you don't let go is three clicks. One, two, three. The last click like that. Okay. So don't don't uh, just in case you say oh I, I'm hearing four clicks. The last click is actually just forward going back to neutral all right so let's down forward uh, down diagonal forward down diagonal forward and then just get get comfortable you know get keep doing this like a hundred times if you can do it a hundred times without like a mistake then i think you got it like you know just do this like just count like one two three you know and so on just do it do it for like a hundred times so that way you get the the muscle memory you know because if you can get this down if you can get the the quarter circle motion down everything is going to be easy because everything is just a variation of the quarter circle um you know let me also show you on the left side uh because the gesture is a little bit different it's also down down diagonal forward down diagonal forward um so let me see if i explain this so so it looks like I'm using these two fingers and my thumb at the same time um, to kind of like grip it, actually holding it. Um, and then, let's see, and then gripping it and then kind of like just pulling it down and then moving it forward. Uh, whereas on the other side, I am actually gripping less. On this side, I'm just kind of like, it's faster. But on the, on this side, I'm actually using I'm actually I actually have to grip it a little bit longer and notice that so basically so yeah so basically do it like this use holding it down and then just do it like that mm -hmm. and sometimes I notice if my um, if I'm doing using this posture it's, it's, it looks like this so your body kind of just uh, adjusts sometimes depending on where you are and things like that uh, but go with the the flow, just, you know, uh, go with the comfort of your finger and your hands and things like that. So a lot of times, even when you're doing uh, gestures, uh, even though I'm saying like use these three fingers, um, these fingers sometimes I notice when I play, they I notice sometimes these two fingers going like crazy. Like they, they be sometimes here and they be sometimes like curling in. They can, I, after I do a motion and these other fingers that's, that was not used to do the input they can be like randomly just kind of like moving but don't kind of like uh, don't be don't be surprised that like don't don't try to like oh these two fingers must stay here for me to like uh, do the motion uh, follow the the nature of your hand and movement and things like that so you know it should be you it should feel like like very natural that's how you get like get the accuracy because if you try to restrict your um, your movements uh, it won't be as fluid um, so also for the right hand um, I didn't really see any comments or anything mentioning about right hand but um, just in case uh, I will mention this um, for your right hand um, also go with like uh, don't be stationed don't be stationary don't just like put your hand here and just try to like press everything like this like actually like move it like everywhere trying to like you know to move it around up and down left and right so you know so the whole your your whole movement should be very free but not like not like strict and like just kind of like that so that's how you get like very good accuracy and get the the muscle memories oh let me also show you this um so let me see if i can show it so 
when you're doing a the fireball motion basically the behind the scene is basically going like this when it's going down this is down and then diagonal diagonal is when it's like this Di oh, down diagonal and then forward and then back to neutral so that's what's going on on your like behind the scenes when you're doing the fireball motion down and then when you tap forward to basically it registers as a diagonal because it's clicking both of these so and then so after you let go now it register forward so that's how you complete the the uh, the, the down diagonal forward motion and then as you let go you hear the fourth clip so just want to let you see the behind the scenes moving on to part three uh, how to do an uppercut so in this case how to do a show you can um, so there are many ways to do it a lot of people do it differently um, so there, you know how there's one way with the Z motion that Z motion that's one way some people do it like down forward diagonal down forward diagonal that's another way uh, some people do it like a double quarter circle like that and that's another way and some people do it like diagonal diagonal and then punch like that so that's another way so um, but forget forget those um, I don't like those methods I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it um, it's super easy so if you can do the the fireball you can do an uppercut easily uh, so what basically uh, how it's gonna work is basically you do forward and then a fireball forward fireball so just like I show you with pushing with your thumb forward fireball forward and fireball but now we want to do it fast faster forward fireball like that forward fireball forward and then fireball forward but this is slower just to get the motions forward fireball but when you do it fast it becomes a a uppercut so you know same thing on this side forward uppercut forward hadouken forward hadouken so same thing do it when you do it fast it becomes a a uppercut so it's very easy so if you can do a quarter circle fireball you can do a you can do an uppercut easily so it's gonna be um, so it's also very fast so if they jump they jump you, you do an uppercut if they jump you do an uppercut you know, let's see I missed that so, you know, something like that something like that so yeah so that's how you that's how I use uh, how I do a uppercut uh, basically just forward fireball forward fireball you know when you do it fast it will be an uppercut so get some practice show me uh, tell me let me know in the comments if it works or not for you moving on to part four how to cancel into super a lot of times I see players trying to mash out a super like like this um, you don't you don't have to mash um, I'm gonna show you like how easy it is basically if you can do a fireball motion which is a quarter circle for Nash it's gonna be this kick if you can do this like solidly like you can you can cancel into super easily um, so basically what you're gonna do is basically do a quarter circle here and quarter circle here because this is this uh, his super is double quarter circle punch so when you're doing this you already satisfy uh, one of the command for the super which is one of the quarter circle so when you're doing this it just it just cancels into super so let me move this out of the way so for Nash look how easy that is so basically just fireball fireball Fireball, fireball. Same goes for Nakali. Nakali usually connects super with this move, uh, so you can just like do that. Because this move and super is the same direction, um, doing this will satisfy half of the super. Uh, so you don't have to do this and then like do an 
do another two quarter circles. You don't have to do like like that. Um, you'll be doing extra commands, even though it's gonna work, but you don't have to because you're you'll be just wasting time on that um, unused command input. Uh, so you know, just do this and that, and you will have the super. Now let me switch over to Akuma. So for Akuma, it's the same concept. It's also fireball, fireball uh, motion, and it's super easy. You don't have to mash. Just two, basically two fireballs, one and then another one, but just do it quick. Also, same goes for a, a shoryuken. Most people won't do this. Like most people won't do this combo. Um, you know, but people would do do this combo. But it's the same concept. Basically, doing a a what I was telling you, a forward and then fireball and then adding another fireball. So it's gonna look like this. Like this. So you no longer have to you no longer have have to mash anymore, you know? Because it's so easy, right? Just forward, fireball, fireball. But if you do it fast, it's going to be a cancel into super. <clears throat> so if you're doing combos like that, you will never miss. You know? Like you will never miss. Um, trust me, you can do this. Like, it is so easy that you can do this with your eyes closed. So use this way to cancel into super. You're gonna you're gonna do your combos really good now. Another example with Kami is uh, the same concept. Basically forward fireball, forward fireball, um, and canceling the super is the same thing. Adding another quarter circle, just like that. Okay, very clean. Like that. Like that. So just adding this and to another fireball so give it give it a try and see see if it works so in conclusion all you really need to know is just the fireball motion which is the quarter circle uh, because everything is just based off the quarter circle you have the fireball you have the up, uppercut which is just a forward and then fireball and then you have the super which is just two quarter circle so yeah, if you can just if you can do the quarter circle, you can pretty much do anything. Uh, I can do a charge tutorial for charge characters if some of you guys are interested. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if this is how you use a joystick or if you use it differently. Uh, it will also help out other viewers as well. And please comment back after your practice and let me know how you're doing uh, i would i love to hear from you um, if you have any more questions or comments uh, don't be shy i love reading your comments and answering all your questions and thank you again for watching like comment and subscribe is always helpful for the small channel and i will see you guys next time uh, and finally here are some samples uh, of uh, my hand movements uh, enjoy and i'll see you guys next time Thank you.